Hi everybody, it's One Cast One Fish, and today I'm going to be showing you the fish ID features of the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. Now, before we go any further, if you have not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get an email alert when the next One Cast One Fish video is available on YouTube. Now. Let's get started. The Fish ID feature is a great tool that Garmin put into the menu settings of the Striker 4 Fish Finder. As you can see behind me, the Fish ID feature helps take out some of the guesswork when interpreting those 2D sonar returns. Now to activate the Fish ID on your sonar, follow these steps. From the traditional sonar screen, you're going to want to hit the menu button. Next you'll scroll down to Sonar Setup. From there scroll on down to Appearance, and at the bottom of the screen, you'll see an option for fish symbols. As you can see, there's five options. We're gonna go through and discuss each one of those five options, and we're gonna talk about how each one might be a benefit to you based on your current knowledge and skill level using 2D sonar. We're gonna start at the bottom of the screen with the most basic beginner options and work our way to the top to the more advanced choices. Our first icon located at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice is a fish with a number associated with it. That number is an indicator of what depth that fish is believed to be at. Now as we look at the display, there's a few things I want you to take note of. Like I said, this is the very basic and beginner mode that you'd want to use if you're not real familiar with the sonar and reading 2D sonar images. This fish ID feature gets rid of all the clutter. As you can see, there's no arches, no bait fish, nothing in the background. It removes all that information and replaces it strictly with a fish icon and a number for the associated depth of that fish. Moving up one level, you'll see that you have the fish icon just with no number associated with it. Basically, this shows you the same sonar display image as before, just now without the added clutter of having a bunch of numbers located all over the screen showing you the depth of the fish. Now we're going to start moving up into some more advanced options which are going to be very useful, especially if you're interested in trying to learn how to read those 2D sonar images on your own a little bit better. The next fish ID option has the fish image along with a number associated with the depth. But this one also includes what looks like to be little bubbles all around that fish icon. Now this, in my opinion, is probably one of the best selections, especially for beginners looking to learn how to use their 2D sonar. The reason why is not only do you now have that fish icon on the display, where the unit interprets to be a fish, but if you look closely in the background, you'll see the actual 2D sonar return image that it's using to indicate that there may be a fish located there. This is especially useful for beginners because not only do you have that fish ID icon, you also have that 2D sonar image in the back, so you're able to compare and contrast the difference between the two and see what the fish look like on the 2D sonar and verify that you're correct because there's a fish ID icon located there as well. Moving up one level, you'll see we have the fish icon with the bubbles around it. However, there's no longer a depth indication. And this is basically the exact same image you had with the fish icon and the 2D sonar located behind it. But this time, the added clutter of having those indications of depth associated with each fish are gone. As you become more experienced and learn to interpret your sonar images with the help of these fish ID features, eventually you might want to take and turn fish ID off. Turning fish ID off is going to give you the straight 2D sonar return image of what the sonar transducer is sending to the display unit. With fish ID turned off, you'll notice there's nothing but the 2D sonar image displayed. Using this option, it's going to be up to you as the angler to interpret what you see down below. As you can see with fish ID turned off, you get nothing but the 2D sonar image return on the display. This option is great, especially if you've used the other fish ID features to hone your skills and experience at identifying fish using the 2D sonar. As you can see, there's a menu setting for every experience level to help you put more fish in the boat every time. Now, if you have any more questions about the Garmin Striker 4 Fish ID features, please don't forget to comment down below. Again, it would be greatly appreciated if you'd hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and we'll see you next time on the water.